If you need your documents to be ready for generative AI, this is the solution for you. Hey guys, today a very short video about this GitHub repository that I stumbled upon. It's a cool project that allows you to easily convert documents from many different types, PDF, docx, PowerPoint, images, HTML, etc. Into markdown, into markdown or JSON files. So you will be able to easily adjust um, the content, standardize it, and then use it in different LLM use cases. It can integrate with Slama Index, Langchain, RAG solutions, etc. And it also uh, allows, I mean, it has OCR abilities. It's very simple, it's very fast. And sooner, they are also going to add uh, equation and code extraction, which is going to be pretty cool. For now, I just messed around with it for a simple research paper. Uh, this is the research paper. I'm going to probably create a, another detailed video about this specific research because I think it's very important. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is basically to show you how you can get started. Uh, obviously, I will leave the link to the repository in, in the video description. You have here um, like detailed instructions. You can uh, create different limits for the amount of, of um, the size of each document, different instructions regarding the chunking, how you want to control the PDF table extractions, many, many um, options. But if you just want it for simple stuff, it's also very doable, very easy to get started. All you have to do is pip install Docling. It's, it works on um, Mac, Linux, and Windows. And then you just create a Python file. I just copied and pasted this. I threw it into ChatGPT. I asked it to make adjustments so it will save the output in the specific folder that I'm working on. And I was good to go. This is how the code looks like. Uh, eventually, so you import the libraries here. You just type the the path to the PDF or the URL. In this specific in instance, I added this um, research paper, as I told you. And from there on, it was just pretty simple. Um, just run this file, and we were good to go. Let me see if I have this saved. Um, never mind, I'm not going to even show you uh, how it looks like in the terminal because it's very straightforward. I will show you the bottom line, how it looks like. It's right here. This is the output. So let's compare this side by side with the research paper. So this is the headline of the research paper, an empirical study on the code refactoring capability of large language models. We can see over here, this is the the name of the research paper as well. As you can see here, everything is well converted to Markdown. You can see introduction, introduction, this sub subheading. Um, I want to show you a table because it did great work with this table. So this is table one. Let's look for it. Let's look it up here. Table one. Yeah, so this is table one. You can see metric, description, quality attribute, and rationale for inclusion. And as you can see here, before it, it seemed better, let's probably the word wrapping here is off. Let's see. Anyway, before it seemed better, I think it's, re it's related to the way that, okay. Okay, there you go. Yeah, so yeah, I knew it was something related to the way that I'm viewing the file. So as you can see, it converted everything pretty well. It's just very useful. As you can see here, another table, another table, another table. You probably can't see it because it's tiny. Anyway, long story short, this is very useful if you have uh, many PDFs or a lot of data and they are not in JSON or in Markdown files and you want to convert them in, in order to adjust them and make them LLM ready, definitely check out the link to the repository. It's very straightforward. You don't need any coding skills for this. It's basically like plug and play. 
yeah, I guess that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Obviously, if you did, please uh, like and subscribe. Leave a comment below if you find it useful. And until next time, keep on automating.